Oh, what a lovely sunset we have tonight. Oh, hey there, uh, and welcome to Large Format Friday. I'm your host, Matt Marash. If this is the first time you're stopping by the channel, there's a playlist of our entire fourth season. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Almost two whole calendar years of LFF, and I don't see us stopping anytime soon. For those of you that have been hanging in there since the beginning, thanks for letting me take that month off. It's been really relaxing, got a lot of shooting done, and plenty of cool stuff is still coming around the corner here before we close out 2021. Oh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, you know, each and every Friday we're going to be here and we're going to be talking about something large format. So I, I look forward to uh, chatting with you guys about it. Today, uh, well, you can see I'm just hanging out here, uh, here in downtown Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we're going to head over to the darkroom space here in a little bit. But I wanted to talk about a few things that have happened while, during the break and a few things that I just want to shine a light on and kind of update everybody on the channel about. Just kind of start off nice and slow. All right. Come on, let's, uh, let's head over to the dark room. So the first thing I want to address with y'all is the YouTube shorts. Towards the end of season three, I started putting out some vertical videos that were 60 seconds or less for YouTube's shorts format. I thought it'd be a really cool way to engage with a slightly different type of content with the same user base. For some of you, loved it. Some of you really, really, really didn't like it. And I want to I let you know that I hear you. I try not to respond to negativity in the comments, but it does inform what I end up doing. That product from YouTube is an attempt to compete with the ever-growing juggernaut that is TikTok. And I thought instead of trying to beat them, I'm going to join them. If you want to see more shorts content and you don't despise the vertical video format, you can follow me over on TikTok. I'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to learn more about shorts, have any questions for me that you want a video format answer, and it's just a different way to engage. I'm happy to be there, and I don't want to feel like I'm slighting anybody by creating a, a different type of content for the YouTube channel. So it's harder work for me, but it's more content for more people, and that's what I'm here for. Okay, we're almost there. Let's keep going. Ooh. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh. Nothing like taking a moment to appreciate some art. And speaking of large format appreciation, there's a particular photographer that I want to talk about right now who has a new book coming out. Mr. Nobuyuki Kobayashi of Japan has an amazing photographic book all made with large format. This is the second book in his series of Portrait of Nature, Myriad of Gods. It's a very, very well executed uh, black and white series of photographs that feature large format capture, but also feature uh, the essence of Shintoism, the belief that there is divine reverence in, uh, in every piece of nature that we can come across and appreciate. His work is absolutely beautiful. His first book came out over seven years ago. That was Portrait of Nature, Myriad of Gods. This is the second book called Yugen. It's already been funded on Kickstarter, but when I saw that there was less than 100 folks that have backed it, I thought I have to tell the folks on LFF about this amazing book. You can go there right now and put in your pledge to get his new book, his new book and his original book, as well as the full collection with some limited edition platinum palladium prints. The work is absolutely gorgeous. The craftsmanship is very apparent even on like a web platform. You can also go on the Kickstarter page and check out his full length documentary, also titled Portrait of Nature, Myriad of Gods. Please, please check it out. There are several links in the description below where you can check those out. And if you're an appreciator of the channel here, well, <laughs> Mr. Kobayashi, he is a photographer that I want to be when I grow up. So thank you so much for the work that you do and please check that out. HVAC was a little loud out there, so I'm gonna stand here instead. So a really cool thing showed up in the PO box right as I wrapped season three, and that is somebody sent in an entire Ondu pinhole camera setup. 
So big thanks to Joe for sending this in. Uh, Joe's been a viewer of LFF for quite a while. He's also an LFF sustaining member. So thank you and all of you LFF members uh, for sticking through during the break. This is the time where uh, I need that help the most to kind of prep things, get film processed, all that kind of organization stuff that happens behind the scenes. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It's got this awesome little case and just look at the craftsmanship on this. This camera is far too nice for me and uh, I had already worked it out with Joe that this is going to be given away on the channel. So very similar to our very first giveaway where we had that Intrepid camera kit, I'm going to have a link in the description below to the giveaway for this 4x5 undo pinhole. This is a worldwide contest. I will eat the shipping cost to get this to you worldwide as long as where you live, you are of eligible age and in an eligible country to receive this prize. I'm gonna have a link in the description below to the giveaway. We're gonna run this giveaway for the first four episodes of season four of LFF. And uh, the winner's gonna get this fabulous, amazing four x five pinhole with just stunning craftsmanship, as well as a filter adapter and four x five inch holders. So thanks again, Joe, for sending this in. Uh, I wanna to try to make sure this thing gets its way to a good home. So be sure to share this video if you know somebody that is potentially interested in getting into large format in uh, one of the, I think one of the most relaxing ways possible. I'm also gonna drop a link up here to the pinhole episode of LFF. Actually, there was a couple of pinhole episodes. So I'll put both of those up there. So that about does it for today. If you have any questions about the large format photographic process, you can always feel free to shoot me an email, largeformatquestions at gmail.com. And you can also hit me up with a question over on TikTok. Yes, I know it's vertical video, but it's a great way to interact and respond. And you might just find a different audience than you have seen over here on YouTube or other social media. So it's worth giving it a try. So thanks again for stopping by and we'll catch you next week for more LFF.